everyone! It's day three of my St. Patrick's Day inspired recipes, and today's recipe is for meatloaf. I started out by making a pastry from my 1950s Betty Crocker cookbook. I always use lard in my pastries because it gives a really robust flavor and a lovely flaky texture. Now, the recipe calls for a whole pound of breadcrumbs, which seems a little excessive to me, so I just used two slices of store-bought 12-grain bread. The book doesn't actually call for an egg in the ingredients section of the recipe, but I did happen to see it down in the instructions section, so always read your recipe thoroughly! I also substituted orange marmalade for the chutney. The recipe was a little loose on how you're supposed to bring the pastry up over the loaf. Since this is what I pictured when I first read the recipe, I decided to just go with it. And whether or not it's technically accurate, I think it looks quite quaint and nice. I just made sure to use a lot of water to sort of glue the pastry together so it didn't fall apart as it baked. I baked my loaf much longer than the recipe said, and I'm so glad I did. It turned out beautifully, and we both absolutely loved it. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll be back tomorrow with another recipe.